the gunsmith or scattering supplies by the clock shop. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Bioshock Infinite Part 9. I'm your host, the one and only Dave. It feels weird being in first person perspective after playing Undertale for so damn long, but hey, that series is done. Let's focus on this, shall we? I'm pretty sure these people are bidding on how quickly they could do a job for Fink. Let's not really roll into the story, so let's keep going. Alright, let's explore the dock a bit, shall we? Jeremiah Fink has a philosophy. You see, your company is like Noah's Ark. You I remember the control scheme, so I'm not used to playing on this. The purpose is to keep order amongst the lesser creatures. Then, you have the cow, the beasts of out? burden. Oh, yeah, now, ten picks. they provide meat, milk, oh, and keep your head in the game, man. And then, well, there are the hyenas, the troublemakers. Anything useful in that here? Poster. There's another cipher on it. Huh. So we need to find the code book? Yep. Yes. Hmm. Looks like everything's in the at the big time club. Maybe that's where we'll find it. Probably. Right, so if I go too far ahead in this area, they'll just everyone will just open up on me, so. What can we do to avoid that? Oh yeah, I forgot. If you stay around long enough, some guy punches the other guy out for the job. So, I probably don't see that. So, let's head to that gunsmith, shall we? Or let's explore this place later. Oh, box of bones. Fitzroy, we have need of a shepherd. I have a pressing need to speak to this so-called false shepherd, stirring up so much trouble. We got enough problems without this damn fool shooting up the city and blaming it all on the Vox. Though if he's amiable, yeah, yeah, he might be just the fellow we need for our immediate concerns. Really, is that how I am to you, Fitzroy? It's the pawn for your sick game. <laughs> We are a gunsmith shop. Well, you know the deal, guys. Still gotta explore, so let's go exploring. Going upstairs. Scott Mabuda. Who? The founder of Buddhism. Spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Someone tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary. I hear crying. Do you hear that? There's someone downstairs. Let's go investigate. You weren't here before. Talk to Mrs. Wynn. Excuse me. Ma'am, I'm sorry to bother you. We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He... Gone. Gone? They take flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Meilin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Bully help Jen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen then? Go the good time cover, rescue Ooh, Chen Lin. Excuse me. Chen <laughs> probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Right, now let's figure out where this good time club is.
Okay, here we are, back again. Did Ryan just rumble? Ah, oh, crap, the grapple force. Oh, thank you for noticing, was it just... Can I move, please? Damn it, handyman. And I'm dead. He probably gets all his health back on this ball, I believe, too, so this is gonna suck. <laughs> Alright. Oh, starting over here, huh? I'll listen to that box for once you clear this place out, because now's not a good time to listen to it. I move, please, Jesus. Where do you go? God damn it, it has to be a turret here. Motherfucker. Get up, get up. Okay. This ain't working, guys. This ain't working. Through the carbine. Where'd he go? I didn't destroy that turret, really? There he is. Could be doing a bit more than help me. The hyena is a trickster. He lives to stir trouble. Okay, he's down, he's down, he's down. Oh, it only took three tries. I don't much care for you. Oh god. I nah, just take it, just take it. I must admit, you know your way around a brawl. A compliment? Appreciate it. All right, then we gotta go to the Good Time Club. But let's explore this area here now all the coppers are gone. I'm sorry about what I said at the docks. Yeah, can't see how I might have changed her sense of that. Protected. Job's a job. Booker, you could be a bit more compassionate. She is a person that we're all feeling this. All right. <laughs> The factory, we can't get in there yet. We're just from the gun shop up there. Oh, yeah, we have to explore over here. Lately, I've never heard that song before. Sounds familiar, but I'm not sure which artist it is. Rod banana, negative health. No, thank you. Anything here I can pick up? A rock pick. Rotten apple. Jesus Christ, man. You hold on to this. Or money in the bank. I'm pretty sure we can get up top here somehow. Just to find the hook. Hook? More gear. Nope, I'm cute my quip size, please. Thank you very much.
here. We got down here. Oh, we had the boxer phone. I forgot about the boxer phone. Let's go listen to that, too. I have one carbine ammo, so let's get a pistol ammo. Hmm, let's roll again. The invisible color. One day, ain't nobody noticed me. Then they think I done for Lady Comstock, and well, everybody noticed me. I head to Finkton, and I hide. I hide deep. The more they look, deeper I go. Only thing a color child can count on is the fact they invisible. Always with the metaphors, huh? Okay. I believe we've seen everything we can, so let's head on to the club, shall we? Like that, yoink. Let's see, I don't think so. Okay, we're heading in. There it is, Mr. Joy. Now we just need to head inside and find Mr. Lin. And just call me Booker. The Good Time Club. Oh, very fashionable. It's a dead guy hanging from the clock. Ah, do it, my boy. You know, the best kind of interview is one where the applicant doesn't know he's being evaluated. <laughs> but I've watched you since the other day at the lottery. You're a brute. And in times like this, I could use a brute. What do you want, Fink? My labor unrest is coming to it. <laughs> now, Fitzroy has got the jungle all riled up. <laughs> A man like me could have use of an old Pinkerton like you. It's my oh. chill, Lady. Get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Candidate is a shot. veteran of Peggy. Yeah, stick to shot Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. Oh, crap. I see him. Let's fall back for now. Christ. Oh god. Whoa. I'm almost dead. That's not good. Wow, I feel like I could kill him. I guess not. Alright. Keep going. I know they're out. No. Damn it, I gotta get closer. Did I just say call me Booker? Back up there, Chief. I do say I like the cut of your jib. That's such an old-fashioned thing to say. Alright, I like the cut of your jib. Who says that? This young go-getter is a former devotee of Lady Comstock. But without the old gal, they don't know quite what to do with themselves. Oh boy, the crow. Why is that music still playing? 
Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, crap. Damn you. Oh, more reinforcements. So many of them. Sorry. Two shells left. Oh, ammo, please. There. Of course. Hey, George. How's it going? I know. Little bit of the gears. Ow! Mosquitoes, really? My sniper still here? No, it's not. Let's steal the charge. Appreciate it. All expectations here, my boy. <laughs> Keep it up. Damn it, I tried to get the gun, but it was too much. Too much. We're getting it. Unbelievable. Alright, this time I got it. This time I got it. One more left. Right. Where is it? Ooh. Congratulations, DeWitt! You know, when your name was first passed to me, I wasn't quite sure you were the man for the job. <laughs> but now, I can say with certainty that I was quite wrong. I'm not interested in your job, Fink. Yeah, you tell him, Booker. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. That sounds like a threat. I don't like being threatened. I'll be. Grab that lock One in a sec, in a sec. Ooh, and they're in fusion. Health. Feel better already. Okay, get rid of this gun. Uh, Alright, there's a few more places we can explore in here, I believe. Let's get to it. Okay, this opened up. More money. Thank you. Very cringy looking bathroom you got here, I think. Okay, and before we head down to the basement, there's one more room upstairs that I overlooked. Right, this room opened up as well. Are you staring to the wall or playing hide and seek or something? Yeah, switch it off the sniper. Thank you. Ooh, more gear. I gotta do that. I gotta equip it. That seems very effective. 
Salt if you don't need, health if you don't need, and a safe. Can you open this, Elizabeth? I'll give it a whirl. There. Okay, now guys, we can head to the basement. A long last. Changing my tune. I had thought you a fool, dear brother. When you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But not only have you made your fortune from these two dads, you have lit the path for me as well. Great to hear, Fank. Great to hear. Game came out twenty twelve. Can't remember. I mean carbine, but I'm not a fan of the carbine to be honest. And very creepy music they have playing right now. Fits the atmosphere perfectly. Chen Lin. Look, Chen Lin, cell number nine. Wait, I'd say Booker. Hmm? Can you help me out with this lock? <sighs> Child's play. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? And I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? To demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. Great example, Booker. Ready. Great example. Hello. Yeah, I'm not too old, we could serve with reload times. I'd rather have the effects chained together. Oh, there's a code book we need. That's it. That's the book for the clock shop. Alright, guys, we don't have to go back just yet. We're gonna go back to the area for the storyline, so there's no point going back now. You know you can hear us. You such racism. Unbelievable. Wants to bring in Mrs. Lin for company. Hmm. Yeah, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. Oh, what's that smell? Ain't no privies down here. Like animals. Oh, Comstock. His design for cruelty. To tax the black more than the white. Is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races, is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red, is that not cruel? But is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? Or drown your flock under an ocean of water? Cruelty can be instructive. And what is Columbia? If not the schoolhouse of the Lord. You are a complete racist psychopath, you know that? <laughs> Regards. Well, at least they go down easy. They didn't do anything to be served. Locked up down here. Got a lock, needs picking. I can do that. Okay. Another dead laborer. 
Nope, don't like that. Excuse me, Waves. Locked. That's a cell Elizabeth. Need. That's easy enough. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Number nine. Ready. Do it. You're a liar. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Yeah, I can. Now I know Fitzroy has come calling. But I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it. Not hyenas. It's too dark here. Let's turn on the lights. Yeah, he's been tortured to death. That's 100% apparent. We're too late. God damn it. Oh, God, look at his eyes. This is Black and blue. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead? Oh, hello. <laughs> is dead. What? Who the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. The body's gone. Oh, tails. How convenient. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but how? It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. And they're gone. Okay. Makes perfect sense. If we go into this tear, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Open the tear, I guess so. Do it. Okay, open it. Time. <laughs> magic, magic, There's magic. No, <laughs> no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Yeah, I doubt that too, Booker. I just looked at the time, guys. We're pushing 30 minutes. I think there's a good point to stop. I did not mean to do that. I dropped my control. Anyway. Because as you know, this game runs on an autosave feature. I cannot manually save whenever I feel like it or when it's convenient. So I'm going to leave this part here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.